Hey guys, before we start the video, I just want to let you know this is going to be part one of a two-part video, so uh, part two will likely be posted a little while after this video. Um, but yes, if you're wondering, this is going to be a part one and two series, so I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me and it helps my channel to grow. Um, also join membership if you'd like to, it's just the join button below this video. Um, you can also click the link in the description box as well, and then I'll also pin it in the comment section for you guys. Um, and we'll definitely post after this video a couple extra messages as well. Um, I always post extendeds in that section, bonus divine masculine, divine feminine ratings, and channel messages. So if you're interested or like my content, definitely join membership, guys. Um, you can definitely unsubscribe from members at any time as well. Um, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, we're going to get into this reading today. Um, also, guys, if you ever want to donate to the channel, there's a PayPal link in my description box. And then also there is an Amazon link as well. Um, I now have a US and Canada one just to make it easier for people in the US to donate. I appreciate you guys letting me know how that was working for you and helping me out with it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it should make things easier now. But anyways, okay, we're going to actually get into this reading now. I don't know if you guys noticed, took me a while to post today. It was a bit later posting. Um, just because, guys, the messages have just been all over the place lately. I've been trying to figure out what the heck's going on for you guys because we were seeing, like, he was about to travel for this masculine. Some masculine was about to leave a divine... Or leave a divine feminine. Uh, leave a karmic person to go towards a divine feminine. And we're seeing some success in a court case, which we did see. That came out in a reading. But now it's like the timeline is, like, a little bit mixed up because... Um, in this reading, I'm seeing something about the court case, um, just like ending out still. So maybe there was something that needed to be finished off first, maybe just something final. Honestly, guys, like regardless, I'm seeing that this masculine is going to win a court case here. Um, there's going to be success. He's going to move forward. It's literally just a matter of like finishing things up at this point, whatever this is. Obviously, tarot readings, timelines are kind of all over the place. Timing, like what is time even times not even, or times a construct it's not really a thing in terms of like when we're talking outside of like our physical reality. So, um, yes, tarot readings, timing could be a little bit all over the place. Hopefully that makes some sense, <laughs> but we're going to get into this reading. I apologize if it's a little bit random, but I have a lot of messages for you guys. Um, and there is good things. There's such good things coming guys. So please stay positive. Amazing things coming. Um, anyways, we'll get into this. So, channel messages I was hearing lately guys there's something someone is like buying items for a new home or something like I'm getting that or something about the kitchen is significant um I keep hearing teflon which is like again the stuff that goes in like frying pans and things like that I was hearing cast iron skillet stainless steel stovetop appliances stir stick something about chafing or shaving um so I really feel like someone is like setting up a new home or something or something about the kitchen is very important for you guys um Maybe you guys are buying new appliances right now. Maybe someone's moving at the moment. We have seen this masculine's likely moving into a new home. So that could definitely be what's going on right now. Um, in terms of other channel messages I was hearing today, I was hearing stop staring at me. Something about a cancellation fee, stovetop. Again, I've heard stovetop a lot lately. Um, something about Versace. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then also, guys, I was hearing kind of like a less positive message. Something about, again, similar to before, something about a razor. And then I, like, clarified it, like, channel messages. I heard self-harm, guys. Um, so just pointing that out, I'm pretty sure this has to do with a karmic person. So I just wanted to speak that out. Um, and this also could be unrelated to, like, physical harm. It could also have to do with, like, um, someone in the hospital doing surgery or something. Because afterwards, I also was hearing, like, Sergio, Sergio or surgery. Um, and I have heard surgery in the past. We have seen stuff at the hospital. Someone could also just be getting surgery and there's something about like, you know, a blade or something for surgery. That could be significant. Um, I've also been hearing things about continental, continental breakfast. So someone could be at a hotel right now. We have talked about that. Um, masculine could be staying at a hotel at the moment. Um, or someone could, I don't know, something about continental breakfast. Um, I was also hearing someone wants to confiscate certain features of another person. Um, this could be the karmic person. I don't know why, but in one reading we did say they could have gotten plastic surgery or something to try and look like a divine feminine. They could have tried to been wearing like certain clothes to look like a divine feminine. Something like that. Like this person was a copycat. They were trying to look like someone else. This could also be like 
terms of like getting away from the law or something maybe they're trying to look like someone like you know change their appearance and they wouldn't be caught or something like that that's a very specific message but yeah that's i don't know the message i was hearing so yeah someone wants to confiscate the certain features of another person it was a weird message um something about bleach as well um brown hair blue eyes i was hearing someone could have brown hair and blue eyes or it could just be like one of you has brown hair one of you has blue eyes um i was hearing my shoes don't fit anymore as well this could also have to do with like because we have been talking about the karma person could be pregnant or someone could be pregnant here um maybe someone's feet are swelling or something like that but i don't or maybe someone just needs new shoes i don't know um i also was hearing the name mark kelly I think that's like, is it a politician or something or someone? Uh, I don't know who that is, but guys, comment if you know more about him. <laughs> but yeah, I was hearing Mark Kelly. Um, I also was hearing that this karmic feels like everyone has turned against her. Um, they're feeling right now, like this karmic person, they're feeling like they're losing control. Like they're just very much like in their feels, like feeling like everything's kind of collapsing around them at the moment. Um because I just keep seeing that they're crying a lot. They're, they're really anxious, really stressed. Um, they're trying to figure out about... So this could also be like in the past, I feel like. I don't know if this is happening at this exact moment. This could have been past energy. But they're trying to figure out about an event or a party. Um, there's something about an event or party being planned. Like with this divine masculine and maybe some of his family members or close friends. And this person, this karmic, is trying to like figure out details about it. They're like, wait, what, what party? Like with who? Like where are you going? Like what's this about? Um, I literally pulled cards that said who and what. So it's like they'd want to know like who, what, when, where, like wh what's going on. Um, and this person's like annoyed that they can't be a part of it or something. Um, there's something about them not having control that they hate. Like they don't like that they can't control things anymore. Can't control this masculine anymore or what he does. Um, because they kind of have an idea that this celebration is for Divine Feminine, which it is. Um, I've seen that, guys. There's some sort of celebration, some sort of party um, that's going to be happening for a divine feminine or some sort of like big event or something romantic this masculine is planning for you. It is very serious, it seems. Um, something very much that he's put a lot of thought and effort into. And yeah, this person wants to know what's going on with it. They might have heard something about it and they're mad that this masculine isn't telling them anything. And I was hearing hysterical. Um, this person, this karmic also could be not feeling like as attractive like sexually right now or something. I don't know. I was getting like a weird vibe was just something like not feeling as attractive um maybe because obviously they're like losing this masculine they feel um also losing a court case as well it seems like this person knows already i'm pretty sure that they're not going to be successful in whatever this court case is like i feel like they're starting to get that idea now um but yeah and <clears throat> yeah this person sorry guys <clears throat> um this person always also wants to know where this divine masculine is going because this celebration or whatever is not going to take place near this karmic person. It's going to be away from them. Um, this masculine is traveling soon, guys. I'm still seeing the same thing. He is going to be traveling. Um, in the last reading, I know I had people commenting being like, is he going to come in like today or something? And I'm like, okay, I want to clarify. Like when I do tarot reading, guys, tarot reading is predictive. It can be predictive of literally months down the line. Um, so don't feel like this is happening like right this second. Like, to be honest, there is something I feel for some of you is coming up very soon um, in this particular situation, but it doesn't mean he's traveling like, you know, that day. It could be like a week later, or two weeks later. Um, in this specific read, I'm seeing something about uh, one to two weeks for you guys. Um, but again, it could be later than that. But the thing is, you always have to keep the faith and understand that like what, what the energy is speaking of, like is something that's going to manifest regardless. So like it will happen like now or down the line, but it's happening. So keep that in mind. Everyone's timeline, again, is different. But of course, I have seen that this is something that seems to be happening very soon, but it doesn't mean that it's happening like today <laughs> is all I'm going to say. Um, anyways, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I know it's not what everyone wants to hear. Everyone wants things to happen immediately, but spirit works in slightly different ways, especially in terms of divine timing. Um, but yeah, so anyways yeah this person's not feeling attractive um they want to know what's going on they also i'm seeing again something about a restraining order like this they already have like restraining restraining order against this person or there's already placed one or going to be like there's something about like they can't really reach this masculine anymore i think like so they're going crazy not being able to know what he's up to anymore 
Um, something about them not having a lot of money right now either, like being out of money or something. Um, they're just overall a bit of a mess right now. They also could be, again, drinking or something like that, drinking a lot. Um, and there's something about them wanting to see kind of, some kind of, like, paperwork or find something out this masculine has, like, like physically, like, some piece of paper or some something that he, like, made or I don't know. It's like they're trying to steal his work or see something he's been working on, like a project, like something physical that he, like, has put away somewhere or something, like something he's been working on potentially for divine feminine like um specifically guys um I saw later in this reading it could be something about music that he's writing like I literally pulled a card that had pieces of paper with music notes on it so it could be something like that like and also I pulled a charm earlier that said handmade so it's something this mask that I feel has been making or working on either for a work project or for divine feminine and this person wants to know about it they want to steal it this could have also been in the past like something they took from him um that could be like part of the court situation going on. They stole some sort of paperwork or his ideas or something like that. But anyways, okay. So yeah, wants to know where he's going, but yeah, this masculine's not expressing it. He's not giving any money to this karmic anymore either. I'm seeing that this person's been completely cut off, especially with this court case going on. Um, something is going to be made very final that they have no longer have access to any funds of his at all. No money is coming from him anymore. In fact, they might have to give back money. Like we've seen this masculine is coming into a lot of money, it looks like. Um, receiving something back that was stolen from him. Um, yeah, and then this masculine here is holding on, a, holding back a bit on expressing something about a commitment or an offer to a divine feminine. Um, but I'm seeing that that's going to be changing very soon. Um, and also, again, guys, like, this is not a masculine who doesn't want to say something to you. Like, he is very much in this energy of, like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, I want to go, I want to go see her. Like, it's kind of like that. But this court thing is the only thing holding him up. Like, he literally wants to come, like, he would come after you, like, today if he could. Like, if this wasn't going on. But it's something with this karmic person. And that is why he hasn't reached out yet. Like, it is, like, he's still nervous to reach out to you. Like, he's still going to have a hard time, like, I think, like, first saying something. But it's not that bad to where it's, like, holding him back. Like, it's more just this situation that's holding him back at this point. Like, yeah, it's not him personally. Um... But yeah, he also doesn't want something to be made public about you guys. Like, he wants to keep it very private, like, whatever he's been planning. Um, like I said, he's keeping it private from some family members, family members that he thinks might ruin it or interrupt it, especially this karmic person. Um, only, like, a certain number of people, I think, are in on it or know about whatever he's been planning. Um, he's kept it very, like, under lock and key. I'm literally seeing that in the charm readings. So, yeah, um... And I also just keep seeing over and over again, like, him holding back from this karmic person, like, not giving them anything, information, not giving them money, just nothing. Like, he's just cold with this person. Um, but yeah, he's trying to be patient um, with this court thing that's going on. Um, yeah, something he has to wait for to be done first. It's some sort of news he's just waiting on, some, like, finalization of something. Um, and there's also something about divine timing in terms of this waiting. So it's not just this masculine waiting on something that, like, doesn't make sense. Spirit is saying, like, it ha it's part of divine timing. Like, there's a reason that it has to be this amount of time. Like, I don't know what it is. It's something about divine timing, guys. Um, so that's significant here. Um, also, I'm seeing very specifically for someone, he wants to show up outside your door or something. Um, like, or your house with flowers. Like, literally someone's door with flowers like I'm just seeing that for someone very particular um and he's intimidated also or impressed by your success or work guys in business or in just like your life in general the person you become he's very intimidated by you overall um he could have also been like this in the past there's something again we talked about how he like compares himself to you in terms of like success in his life and like maybe for some of you you're more successful or something and that was like almost scary to him like he didn't like feeling like he was a burden to you or something like he felt like you were like he needed to be like the man and like you know make I know it sounds silly but like make more money or like be able to provide for you it was more like he wanted to be able to provide for you and he felt like kind of down on himself like I can't do it like I'm not good enough or something um it's also like he needed a certain amount of money or material success before coming back to you again so like he's waiting for this court thing also because there's some sort of money he's going to be receiving 
um but yeah like a part of him just wants to be successful in your eyes and like wants you to see him as like the man that he wants to be for you like because when he comes back to you like i said he doesn't want to come back to you as a burden like he wants to come back to you being everything you've ever wanted him to be like he wants to come back and really prove to you that he can be there for you he can provide for you like he can um be the perfect like husband or boyfriend like whatever it is um so yeah there's something about that like his it's for himself too like he just wants to feel good in himself you know like it's not just about like being the man like it's also about just feeling confident in himself i think um but yeah there's something about securing his money or also even the house before approaching you like we have been saying he bought a house or something and like maybe he is moving in all the appliances and things like that like we were seeing like shopping for new things um and putting stuff in the house before you know inviting you over or something like he's got to make sure everything's all set up as well so this is i feel like something he's doing in the meantime of waiting for this court thing to go through like i feel like that's kind of where we're at um yeah and then i just keep seeing this karma crying again guys um mostly because they're realizing like the masculine's actually gonna leave them this time like that this is serious that they're going to receive consequences like this is all coming down on them now finally um and also this masculine here is strongly hoping that you accept whatever offer this is like very much guys like his whole everything is riding on this i feel like he is risking everything for you like he is just hoping that you take him back that whatever he has planned for you, you accept it. He understands, though, I think, like, if you didn't. But, like, at the same time, he's like, I really freaking hope she does. <laughs> like, he's like, I, I just, like, I pray. He's been, well, he has been praying to you guys. Like, we've seen that, like, meditating on it or, or manifesting this. Like, he's like, she has to say yes to this. Like, he feels like you are his soulmate, basically. Like, he feels like there is no one else for him. You are the only one and like if he doesn't do this i think he feels like he's gonna go crazy like he feels like he has to do this this is something he feels pulled to do again this is likely to do with spirit to do with divine timing this is like divinely guided because this is something like yeah very strong and obviously like a twin flame connection like it's meant to be in some ways so yeah um also guys some other random messages i was hearing tungsten and it's um like a type of it's an element type of metal or something but if you look it up the first thing that comes up is like uh wedding bands for males so or just like for both men and women so i thought that was really interesting um something about staycation as well i was hearing um he, you guys could go on a vacation together as well i keep seeing stuff about that that like i pulled the honeymoon card i think in the last reading um you got you guys could definitely travel like he might take you on a trip or something um, this man is very serious, I keep telling you guys, and I was also hearing that song, um, like, here without you, baby, but you're still with me in my dreams, something like that, and again, something about dreams, guys, I swear, this masculine is having dreams about you, like, he's having intuitive dreams, or he's just dreaming about you because he wants to be with you so bad, like, there is something, though, I feel like he's receiving messages in his dreams, like we talked about, um, anyways guys okay we're gonna move forward that was like messages from last night and then i did this little reading here actually did a few readings today just trying to <laughs> figure out what the heck was going on but this is the only one i really wrote down messages from um but yeah so basically with this card here there's something like guys look at this card there is two gold rings on this card i honestly and i've been seeing in other readings or something about him buying a ring I feel like for some of you, this man might be so serious that he might propose to you. Like, straight up, just the first time he sees it, like, he's gonna propose. Like, he'll, like, apologize for something in the past and then just propose to you. Like, it'll be, it'll be like, yeah, I'm sorry for doing this, you know, like, reuniting, all this stuff. And then it'll be like, but I am also want to show you how serious I am about you and that, like, he makes sure you know this. So he's just gonna straight up propose. Like, I don't know. This is for someone. I feel like this specific message. For others of you, it could just be, like, He's like, I want to take this next level right away. Like, I want you to be my girlfriend right now. Like, I'm being straight up. Like, I know I said I didn't want this in the past, but I know now, like, you're the one for me. I was stupid in the past. Like, let me apologize for everything. Um, like, he's very much like, let's take this to the next level right away. Like, he's in a speedy mindset. I keep seeing that. Wanting to move things forward quickly. Also, there's something here about crystals, guys. Someone could use crystals or something. Um, this could also have to do with a ring, right? Like diamond ring crystals makes sense. Um, and then also I feel like he's been writing you something. I keep saying that it keeps coming out. And then this, 
uh, card here we have like literally the pen or someone like writing something in ink like this could be like a handwritten message or again a song or something someone wrote for you or something they created themselves by hand it could also be like artwork or a project they've been working on for you or like part of this like date or something they want to set up for you they wrote something out maybe they wrote something to say because they have so much to say I don't know um also I don't know why I keep getting the vibe with this card <laughs> of someone standing outside your house like in the movies like with a speaker I don't know why this doesn't even look like a speaker really but I was just getting like someone standing outside your front door with like a speaker playing music being like you know baby come back you can blame it all on me like something like that like in the movies when they play the song outside their window and are trying to get them back like I feel like that is like what some wants to do like almost that energy um, you could literally be playing you a song outside your door. I said that in, like, the last reading or something, too. Um, so yeah, something like that could happen. Um, I also was getting a weird message from this card, too. Like, something about someone's hands being above their head, like, in a bed or something, like, tied up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's just another thing I got from this card, so I wanted to say it. Something about a cathedral, too. I was hearing that. I was hearing cathedral. So maybe someone's literally thinking about a wedding with you. I don't know. Um, knocking at your door as well. Someone's going to knock at your front door. Just like I said before, I look at in this card, there's a door knocker right there. Like someone's going to come knock on your front door and like play you music and be like, baby, come back to me. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, and like this person also, I keep hearing protect. They want to protect you. They want to take care of you. Like they just like want to do everything for you. Also, I feel like you're like this sun for them. Do you see the sun in the background, like this light around her? Like you are just like this magical person with the wings here. You're like an angel to this person. You just bring the sun into their life. You're a very positive person. You just, you bring like this warm feeling to this person that makes them want to do all these things. Because I feel like this is the type of person that probably didn't do these things for other people in the past. And like all of a sudden, like you change them and like, they're just like, why do I want to do everything for her? <laughs> like, it's like that, like they just feel so much for you and they just see you as like such this, like this beautiful light in their life. Um, and they just want to give back to you because they feel, you know, remorseful for not doing more in the past, I think. Um, so yeah. And then something too about like having drinks together with the couple, you guys could like go have drinks together. You guys could, um... Yeah, I just have, I don't know, I don't know what else I was going to say for that. But also, I was thinking thirsty again. I keep hearing that message, someone's thirsty. Um, yeah, and uh, also, what else was I going to say here? Um, something about divorce, too, I was hearing someone could be, I've just recently got divorced. Like, this masculine could have recently divorced um, the other person, the karmic that he was with, guys. For some of you, this could have been a divorce um, prior to him coming to see you. Um, also with this card, I was hearing Stonehenge, which I had to look up. Um, this could be in London, England, I think. Um, but Stonehenge is like that, you know, like the monument where all the rocks are set in like this kind of weird circle pattern. Um, and it's kind of funny because that like monument is like, it's famous for the way that it was built because no one really knows exactly how it was built because it was built so long ago. They were like, how did they have the proper tools to build all this? Um, it's kind of a bit of a mystery and I feel like that's how this masculine looks at you. He's like, um, the way you go about things in your life, like how you create things, like he's like, you're kind of a mystery to him. Like you're really good at maybe your job or something you do, or just like you have something as talent or something you're really good at. And he's just like kind of interested in how you do it. Um, and this could also be like your ability to manifest things in your life. He's like, how does she do that? How does, how does good things always happen to her? Like whenever I'm around her, like there's just positive energy, like good things happen to me too. Um, there's something about you that's mysterious to him. He doesn't know how you like built something in your life or created something or I don't know. There's just some different vibe about you. I think that he finds unique. Um, and again, you're just a mystery to him a little bit. You're almost like a little bit magical in a way. Um, yeah, I don't know, something like that. Um, you just, like, make things happen, and sometimes I think people don't know how. We did talk about in the last reading how um, some of the other karmic people as well were wondering, like, how this masculine became, you know, was so in love with you. They were like, how does this person, like, just draw him in so easily? Like, and it's just because you just put off this, like, really great energy and, like, obviously are good at manifesting things in a positive way. Um 
something like that along those lines you also could like be someone very intuitive and do like obviously like you could do readings or something or um work with like divination or something and that um kind of intrigues him he's like how does she do that like um how does she know this was gonna happen or something like that as well um anyways uh also some of you guys might wear a necklace often um and there's also more to you than people originally think as well i think there's something like behind you that not everyone sees i was getting that message um something about your hands specifically because like your hands are kind of like blocked out here it's the only thing you can't really see um you could like play an instrument or something something to do with fingers specifically i mean we do have rings here as well um but yeah you could play an instrument is what i'm feeling for some of you piano maybe i was actually seeing a vision of someone playing piano as well um this masculine also could be watching videos of you online i was getting something like that um yeah i don't know i was getting that because this looks kind of like a videotape as well to me i know that's super random but um this also could have had to do with the court case with the fact that something was caught on tape i kept hearing tape over and over um but yeah something about videos online like maybe of what you do with your hands like playing an instrument online or like um of course doing tarot card readings or something like that so yeah, that's what I have for that card. And then for this card down here, we have the Seven of Earth. So that was the Hierophant, guys. It's all about like institutions, things like that. Um, it could have to do with marriage as well, for sure. Um, and then we have the Seven of Earth down here, which is all about, it's like the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like investing in something. Um, and this is how this masculine wants to invest in you. Like, look guys on this card about like how this man here is looking at the little fairy. I feel like this is how he looks at you. Like, you're just so magical. You're so unique. Like, he's got all of his focus right on you right now. Like, everything about you is just so perfect, I feel like he thinks. Um, so that's how he's looking at you. But yeah, this card reminds me, I don't know why, when I first saw this card, I was thinking of, like, a sunset on the beach. That's what it gave me vibes of. Um, but yeah, he might reach out. Like, he's going to reach out. I definitely feel this man is going to reach out to you. He's going, or this masculine. Sorry, guys, I know I always say that masculine's going to reach out to you he wants to invest in you and there's something about the fall for some of you as well um i've seen that this also could all right guys so that's it for part one of this video uh part two will be uploaded a little while after hope you guys are enjoying it so far if you did please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe join membership if you'd like to we're gonna post there after um part two of this series um and of course i always post all the extendeds there all the channel messages all that stuff um, so definitely join if you'd like to. It's just the join button below or in the description box. Also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, it really means a lot to me, guys. The PayPal link is in the description box. And then also, I have the Amazon wishlist as well if you just rather donate cards or something like that to support the channel. And of course, comments, likes, and subscribes always mean so much to me as well. And anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I'll see you guys in part two when that gets posted. And otherwise, have a good one. Bye!